Hello guys and welcome back to another every freaking Wednesday. Welcome to Nellyville. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and I promise you're gonna love it. And also, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Okay. We're not gonna do much today, guys. We're just gonna chill out. We're gonna play with some makeup. It's been a while since we just sat down and just chat, just caught up. Watch me go from like a, a three to like a strong 7.5 and um, yeah, hang out. Do your makeup with me, you know? <laughs> Normally, when I do my makeup, I do eyeshadow last, but this time I think we're gonna spice it up. And I think I'm going to do eyeshadow first. Um, if you're looking for a makeup tutorial, um, you're on the wrong channel, so. <laughs> Okay, and it's gonna blend that in a little. So what's new, guys? Tell me, what's been going on? What's the hat? I don't know when I'm uploading this or if I'm even uploading this video. So some of the things that I talk about may have already happened by the time you guys see this or maybe like old news. So just keep that in mind. I'm filming this September 20. Six, today's the 26th, September 26th, I'm filming this, so keep that in mind. All right, so let's go in with some color. Um, If you want to know what I was using, it's just almost empty. It's this here, Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. She's cute, she's drugstore, but like she does what like she's supposed to do. And for eyeshadow, of course, our Jamie Charlie, because why not go for the rainbow? And I'm actually, I have the little palette, so I'm actually using the little mini version of this for the mirror. So I have both. I'm so happy about it. She put her name at yellow hearts. All right, what color? Let's go in with a base. Oh, I think I got makeup in my hair. That's okay. I'll get it out later. Okay. So if you're wondering, is she putting anything on her eyes? I am. It's it's the color that I'm using is pretty close to my natural skin tone, but I use it as a transition shade. Can you really see it after I'm done doing everything? I you know. I can see it. Does it actually help? I don't know, but I just sometimes I just like to have this like base shadow down. Especially if I'm going for more of like a natural glam. But even if I don't, I most of the time I'll start with this one. I don't clean my brushes. Sometimes I do, most of the time I just, this kind of thing. Sorry, and like the sun is coming in. This video is a mess. All right, whatever. Think about, I'm trying to think what I'm wearing. I'm gonna wear, let me just show you. Hi, I'm back. All right, so I have two options here. This is definitely gonna be one of these I'm wearing today. All right, so this one, a nice cute little friends moment. It's a fatal for friends. So probably the black one, but then I have, then I have the white one too. So friends, and then on the back, has Central Perk, which is if you watch the show, you know that's the cafe that they ate at. I think I'm gonna go with the black one because of the pink hair. I think the pink will look better. But the black is kind of like, yeah, it'll like really pop. And with that shirt, you can pretty much do whatever look. So we're still kind of in the same boat, huh, guys? I think I'm gonna dip into like a purpley color. Let's see. Dip, baby, dip. I'm just gonna go in with this purple. And also this bang yang, this braid bang yang. And it's good to do your makeup by more natural light. Cause I don't know about you guys, which I mean, it's true for everyone, but some, some people have really good lighting in their bathrooms or they have like vanities and stuff made. But most people, your lighting in your bathroom or your bedroom, wherever you do your makeup and inside the house is drastically different from outside. And so you go, you think you look good in the house and then you go outside and your makeup looks totally different, which is fine if you're just gonna be taking pictures inside, it really doesn't matter what you look like, but if you're going to actually be outdoors, 
then you're gonna wanna make sure you look good outdoors. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm trying, I'm doing the, my eyeshadow first. I've been experimenting with this. I do the eyeshadow first and then I feel like I could be a little messier. I feel like I don't have to worry so much about fallout if I'm using a palette that has fallout. And then I can just take a makeup wipe and go and then get that really nice clean angled line. And I can just get the eyeshadow on. I can pack on the colors however I want and I don't have to worry about, oh no, like I went out of bounds. <laughs> You know, it's bleeding. You know, I don't have to worry about that. Don't do what I do. It's unsanitary, but I, I'm lazy and I don't care. And I'm the only person using my brushes. Like, I I try to use the same color with the same brushes, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I just do this and then I wash my hands when I'm done. All right, so we have a purple. Let's get not really darker but a little more of a reddy tone it's still a purple and pink let's see what it looks like on the lid i'm trying to leave i really don't want to go too much on the lid or too much like especially like towards the corner because we're gonna put in you know how i like to do like something sparkly right there so it's no sense in putting something right there and then you just gotta go over it or try to get it off so it's okay if some of it goes over there but because we like smoky we like a blend but we don't want mud you know what i mean i mean it look, trust the process it looks busted the house down boots right now but and plus we're not looking for anything perfect today guys we're just looking for a little bit of fun you know what i'm saying I'm gonna deepen up my V over here. Has anyone heard Tory Lane's new album? Like, I don't know why people were so shocked that he came with, like, a, of course he came out with an album. Of course he did. Do y'all think he was furring? Do you think he did it? What do y'all think? I think a lot more happened than obviously they are telling us and I think that, uh, sorry guys, my camera just cut out. That's a conspiracy theory if I ever heard one. What was I saying? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think a lot more happened to that than more than we would ever know. I'm glad that Megan is okay. And I talked about some of this before, what my conspiracy theory allegedly was in another video. And I'll link that right up here. But it's just weird how it's just like still carrying on. And it's just like this unsolved mystery. Like it's just all very, it's very weird. Megan is going to be on the cover of um, of Time magazine as one of the top 100 most influential people of the year. I don't know. I, that's probably going to be out by the time I post this video, but congratulations, Megan. You know, she's doing a lot for um, someone of her age and someone who's had to overcome like a lot and hello, black woman. Whatever happened, you know, it's really, it's none of our business. It's just, you know, you can't help but to think about it and to talk about it and to wonder like, you know, what, like what happened? What really happened, you know? But it's, you know, and it's still like that thing where it's like, but she didn't break anything. I don't know. I don't know too much about gunshot wounds and I'm not saying that she didn't. I'm just saying that there's a lot more going on than we know, than we would ever know. But that's just my opinion.